Okay guys, let's take a look at the basic rigging knots now. Okay, so in basic rigging, the knots we have to cover are the double bow line, the running bow line, the bunt line, and the sheet bend once again. All right, so they're the ones we're going to look at. So first we'll look at the double bow line. So the double bow line is very similar to the single bow line, except you're going to need a bit more rope to work with. So we're going to make the loop down there, the lower end of the rope. So we've got plenty of rope to work with. So the loop, once again, running over the top of the loop, and we throw it over our bar. All right, so we started off the same as a bow line. We come up through the hole, except now we throw it back over again. Okay, once you've got thrown it over again, all right, we've got to start back to the beginning. So we go up through the hole, go around the tree, and back down the hole. All right, hold that there and there, and there you have your double bow line. Okay, so we'll run through that one more time. So, once again, loop running over the top, over the top. Up through the hole, throw it over. Up through the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. All those two, and there we have our double bow line. Okay. So next is the running bow line. A couple of ways you can do this. There's an easy way and a hard way. Right? They're both easy when you know how to do it. That's all real. All right. So. When we're doing a running bow line, all right, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that's our bar there and this is our rope. So we're going to make the loop in our rope. All right, we're going to throw it over our bar. Our little rabbit comes up through the hole, goes around the tree and back down the hole. Okay, and there you have a running bow line. Now if you we'll pull that out, you'll see that's just a small bow line from the end that would be through. Right. So the other way to do it, just do your bow line first. Running over top of the loop, up through the hole, around the tree, back down the hole, pull that tight, right. and you can just throw that over. Feed that end through, and it's a running bow line. So I'll try it from this side. So once again, that's our bar. Right, we make our loop and our rope. We throw it over the bar like that. Right. Over loop, over the bar. Up through the hole, out of the hole, around the tree, back down the hole, hold them two, pull that one, and that is a running bow line. Okay, now the bunt line okay, is essentially a clove hitch back over the rope. So there's our rope, there's our bar once again, this is our rope. Okay, throw it over like that. Okay, now we're going to roll it around there and cross it over, just like the clove hitch. All right, notice I'm keeping that bottom one separated because we don't want to go over that one. And back through there. All right, and then when you pull on that, there you go, you've got your clove hitch over there. Right. Do that once again. Get the bottom rope throw it over the top one. I like to keep my hand in there because it keeps them nice and separated. Roll it over and cross it over. Then you've got this gap here where my finger is here. That's where you're going to come back through there. Right, pull that through. Pull that tight. There you go. And that is your bunk line hitch. Okay, so I know we covered in the last one, but it is the same knot as it's in the dogging, is our sheet bend. 
Right, once again used for joining two ropes of different diameter. So start with a loop in one end like that. Got your other rope here. Up through the loop, right? Goes underneath there, and then where I'm holding it up is where I'm going to go back under. As soon as I get through, I'm going to grab all four like that, pull it tight, and I can let go of those loose ends, and you have your sheet bend. Okay, one more time. So, loop like that in the larger of the two ropes. That one comes up through there. Okay, I like to hold it up, make it nice and easy. Go under there, like that. Where I'm holding it up, back under there. And grab all four, pull it tight. There go those ones. And there you have your sheet bent. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up.